Previously on Australia's Next Top Model. Is anyone going to eat those forever shirts? The ladies were given a lesson in etiquette. Does that look elegant and ladylike? A red carpet challenge won three girls their first paid gig. I'm going to buy some champagne. And a photo shoot. She just drifts a little bit. Sent Rhiannon packing. Last elimination ran and left, and I think it was a bit of a shock. It's like getting to the point when someone goes, people are kind of one step closer to winning. I'm not really phased by Rhiannon going. I know that sounds really, really harsh, but I never really spoke to her, so I just don't care really. Oh, Janelle. Hi, girls. Hi! I bet you're wondering where you're off to. Yes! Oh, my God. Well, today is no walk in the park. I hope you haven't bitten off more than you can chew. See you later, alligators. Bye! Bye! Bye. Do you want something? Alligators. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. Cat walk. We arrived at the Australian Reptile Park. We had no idea what was in store for us. I've always been a tomboy. Like when I was young, I never used to brush my hair. I'd just run around with no shoes on and go down in the bush and catch lizards. I just love it. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Good morning. Morning. Don't be scared. He looked like he wanted to eat Didier. Like I guess he he couldn't mistake Didier for a chicken with a little hairdo. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Wow! Oh Anybody my... scared? No. 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 Got this. This hunk a hunk of burning croc is Elvis. All five meters in five. Hundred kilos of bone. Oh wow, that's a big boy. As a top model, you need to have the confidence to face your fears and face any challenge that's thrown at you, or even that slithers in your direction. No, no, no. My fears are snakes, dogs, animals, worms, maggots, fungus, toes. Disgusting, unmanicured, and pedicured toes. Just disgusting. But animals, seriously, no. All right, but I think we'll start off with something a little less intimidating for you guys. Conquering our fears, you know, like, I'll be fine unless they make me touch or hold a snake. The theme of the week, facing your fears. Being a model, you're going to come to things that you know, you're know you not going to want to do. I knew that we were going to have to do something out of our comfort zone. All right, girls. I'd like to introduce you to Julie. Hi. Hi. Today we've got a few challenges. We've actually organised uh, a few little creepy crawlies. Oh. Oh. So for the first activity, we're going to do a relay race, split you off into two teams, and in each jar, we have six coins. Now the first team to get every single coin out of the jar wins. So 
So, come on, break off into two teams. Our first activity was showing our hand in a jar full of insects, which had coins in them, and we had to fish for a coin. All right, so girls, and try not to scream too loud. <laughs> Go! I was first in my group, so when I stuck my hand in, all the crickets pretty much just jumped up my arms, started like crawling out. But I found a coin pretty quickly, which was good. The first initial touch, it was just so gross. That was gross as. Ducky was really scared. She was freaking out, like a little kid. <laughs> Ducky, do it! Completely petrified. Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Calm down, Ducky, calm down. Just go, it's right there, it's right there. Just go and get it. Grab it, babe. It's right there. It was my turn to go up and I was feeling pretty confident. I'm like, you know, I can do this. And I pretty much came up and I was like, oh, I can't do this. I was digging around for about a minute just trying my hardest to find a coin. It's not there! Go, April! I feel like straight away. Last one. Who wants it? Who wants the win? I can't Shannon, find it. Shannon, what's wrong? It's not there! Where is there? Shannon, why not, April? Where is it? It's not right there. Go, April. Sorry, Go, April. Disappointed that I let down my team, but at the same time, I did try my hardest. So it's not as though I was all scared and didn't want to do it. Um, it just sucks that I just didn't manage to find the coin. Well, I got one question for you guys. Who wants to kiss an alligator? Yes. Oh my yes, 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 yes. Yes, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a while since I've had a kiss, so why not pucker up to an alligator? I know, Ashley, you've been waiting all day to do something, so come up. Yay. I have kissed worse in my life, so an alligator didn't phase me. All serious, Jane. It's his it's 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 best time, it's 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 make it special. Do it. Very good. Yeah. That feels awesome. Do not, I'm gonna hold his hand. Is it even real? She's holding his hand! Shanali, just like everyone else, was asked to kiss the alligator, and one of the girls made a comment about it being her first kiss. So you're up. The last one. <laughs> Have you never been kissed before? No. There you go. Oh. We all thought it was absolutely hilarious. Her, I don't think so much. <laughs> it's just embarrassing, like... I don't know, I just didn't want it on TV. <laughs> anyway, it's not a big deal. <sighs> Once she looks back, I think she's going to be really proud of herself and be proud that, you know, she's one of those girls that don't just go for anything. I think we've got another activity for you guys. <laughs> Didier got us to lie down and they brought out this green box. Oh my god, what is that? Yes. So everyone needs to get close and meet Fluffy. Yes. <laughs> when I heard the name Fluffy, I thought like a wombat, but it wasn't a wombat. It was a snake. Yes. A really, really big yes. snake. Okay, so my heart was like beating uncontrollably. It was so big. It was like the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life, but then I got used to it, kind of, and then I touched it a bit, and it was, like, really slimy, and, like, it felt cool after. Having Fluffy on Abby really impressed me. She was so scared of snakes, but now having that attitude, I think she could take on anything in this life. So you guys had a rough day. So I thought I'd end the day off with something that really is a little fluffy. Congrats. Look at him. Who wants to wear the little fluffy? I learnt from today's lesson that you're obviously going to be scared of stuff, but, you know, if you get into it and you just snap back out of it and you do it, you'll be fine. Hey, love.
I was the one holding the Joey's bag, playing with him, patting him, and and then out of nowhere, one of the girls realised it was a piece of paper. Oh. Is it Jen Mail? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well done to the models who were able to face their fears in today's lesson. The courage you've shown will help you on the journey towards success, and it will come in handy tomorrow when you experience a different kind of personal transformation. <laughs> Coming up, some girls lose their locks, while others... My mum's gonna kill me! ...just lose their cool. It's makeover time. I'm gonna be on top. There is never a dull moment in the model house, and so we all try and catch it on the model cam. We... got... Mary! Brooke and Diana have been best friends since boot camp. They're bunk buddies, we just can't keep them apart. Because Brooke and Diana are so in love, they decide to get married. Little darlings. We are gathered here today under this holy balcony of the top model mansion <laughs> to join both Brooke and Diana in a beautiful, sacred sanctity of marriage. I am pleased to bind Diana and Brooke and bring them together with a big, sturdy hook. <laughs> you may kiss your woman, yet you may kiss your <laughs> that comes in Australia's next time model. If she doesn't make it to makeover, honey, you're never on the show. We walked in and all the mirrors were all covered and we all kind of realised that we weren't going to get to see what was happening until we were finished. Good morning, girl. Good morning. And welcome to the Australasian College today. For your magnificent makeovers, I have my scissors. <laughs> All right, I'm going to introduce you now to Troy Thompson, who is Director of Hair for Tresemme. Make him welcome. Hey, girls, how are you today? Good. So I just want you to be aware I've worked with many models over the years, and it's really important when you sit in the chair that you put your own personal feelings aside. We know what's best for you, and we know what's going to get your job booked. So, Ducky, how does a number three buzz cut work for you? <laughs> and Brooke? Yeah. How do you feel about going Paris runway chocolate brown? <laughs> so just be open-minded, enjoy the day, and remember, it's all about you guys and what we can perform for you. Well, Shannon. Hi, Charlotte. You have the most hair probably of any <laughs> being in the human race that I've ever witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> and the problem with this internode is the most beautiful hair is that it could take sometimes up to six hours to style on a shoot. Okay. It's not versatile. Okay. All right, but it is beautiful hair. Yeah. So we're not going to ruin it, okay. but we are going to straighten it okay. and thin it out. Awesome. I've been growing my hair for probably the past like five years, so and I was like, Perfecto. Thank God they're not just gonna give me some boy cut. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> oh my God! I can't feel any air. I can't feel any. <laughs> anything. Ashley, we're gonna do a bit of a blunt cut first, okay. but that's not the final haircut but we need to take some length off before we colour. All right? How much length are we talking? Well, quite a bit. You, you, you're having a major change. Let the clipping begin. <laughs> OK, go. Uh, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my mum's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in front of a massive photo of yourself while um, a bunch of hairstylists do your hair and you have no idea what they're doing is pretty daunting and a bit scary. I guess we'll all just have to wait and see 
what happens because no one's got a choice in the matter. We get what we're given and we have to work with it. Okay, so Jade, Hi. you're having a major transformation today. We're going to make you look quite rock, quite edgy. Oh, no. This hair's drowning oh. you out. <laughs> All right, so we're having a major cut. Yeah. I'm going chocolate brunette brown. I love my blonde hair, so I'm a little bit sad, but this is what's going to get me get me booked, then can't wait. This is Steve. Hi. And Steve's going to take care of threading your hair on your face. Uh. Are you familiar with that? Um, I've heard of it. I've never had it done, but I've, yeah. OK. I'm going to leave you in Steve's hands. Okay. Thank you. Threading is a piece of cotton um, and he just wraps it around the hairs and then like yanks them out. I have no idea what's happening with Shinana, but she's just crying. I think she's getting um, waxed, I, I don't know, on her face. Or... She looks really red and she's crying. I feel really bad for her. Uh, at the moment, I don't know, my body's just natural react reaction, I guess. <laughs> um, don't really want to be. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I just think I was a bit embarrassed because I don't think anyone really likes to get threaded on TV um, and it was very painful. It took me a little while to get over it. If Shanali was feeling a little bit uncomfortable or teary or embarrassed about her makeover, I think she'll be extremely happy when she sees her flawless face and her beautiful hair. I think she's probably going to be one of the most glowing of all the girls. Hey girls, how are you going? Good. Well, it's almost time for the big reveal. For the first time ever in top model history, we're going to make you work for it. Top. Well, it's almost time for the big reveal. Next door is a catwalk and a room full of industry experts, fashion media and some very important people. Now I want you to go into hair and makeup and styling and I'll see you on the catwalk. nerve-wracking not seeing yourself before you go on a runway. I'm trying to get myself pumped in the zone. Worst case scenario is I trip and fall my face, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So knowing that the girls don't know how they look, it's going to be a real test to see how they compose themselves. I'm looking for girls who can embody, you know, the clothes who aren't going to be distracted by the crowd. What the girls don't realise, it's not just clients and industry professionals and media that are out there. There's some really, really special guests that is going to be a huge surprise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, special VIP guests, this is the first time in Australia's next top model history that our girls have had a makeover reveal, not only on a catwalk, but in front of you VIP guests. Would you please make the exceptionally gorgeous Shannon welcome. Going onto the runway, I was pretty nervous. You ready to see the new Shannon? I think so. Here she is! Oh my God. That is... wow. And do you like what you see in there? That's Australia's Next Top Model, right there. Good girl. I've got her. She's there. I still remember sitting in the bathtub when I was really young with, like, a bottle of conditioner on my head and Mum just going, bash, like, trying to de-knot it. Charmaine, have you bought your conditioner and comb? Come out. Not being near my family, not being able to talk to them for a month and a half, it's torture. <laughs> my mum and I are like extremely, extremely close, so 
yeah, it was awesome. Stepping out onto a runway, it's so hard to be confident when you have no idea what you look like. Here's the new Brooke. I love it. What are you going to tell your boyfriend when you speak to him? I know. He liked it when I was brunette last time. Troy, do you want to come and have a look and see if you like the uh, Brookie's new hairdo? I think he likes it. Yeah. You like Definitely. it? Yeah. I can't even explain like the feeling I've got right now. I was getting a little bit sad and feeling homesick, so I definitely know that's going to just push all that away so I can 110% just focus on, you know, winning this. Jade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's so different. I had a fringe and my hair was short and it was much darker and I was just really shocked. Now you see there are very, very important guests here today. There's also one extremely important guest, your mum, Julie. Here comes the new Shinali. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, my skin looks so good. bit of an emotional day actually um I'm so happy that I got to see her I know she'll be happy that she got to see me just this month especially after makeovers Madeline was for far north Queensland she drove a tractor she's a banana farm and now she's a supermodel look at her oh my god it's so short like I couldn't stop touching my hair I just kept touching it and but I did like it crying before she even got to me and it was just so, oh, it was so good. April. Oh, wow. That shows off my jawbone and I, I think I actually, if it's possible, I look more feminine. Baby, oh, wow. It was so wonderful to see my mum. It's given me the strength I've needed at this point in time. The new Ashley. Oh. Well? I love it. I look completely different. Well, I've got someone very special here to see if you do actually look very different. Okay. It's your mum, Tammy. You look absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't look like you anymore. <laughs> what? That's just the kind of relationship me and my mum have. We like to, like, we pick on each other to, make, like, to muck around. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Some of the girls here look like Barbie. <laughs> but I don't. Looking in the mirror, I just saw a better person. I just looked... Like a model. Mum, like, hated my regrowth, so she's going to really? be happy. Well, let's bring her out and see what she thinks. Helen, come on stage. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I did not imagine to see Mum. Like, it was, like, the best thing ever. <laughs> Melissa. Oh, that's a great reaction. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. I like it. So let's bring Holly, your twin sister, out to see what she thinks of your makeover. I'm so close to my twin sister. The longest I've gone without speaking to her for my whole life is like three days, if that. Taylor. Oh my god. My hair's so blonde. I know. I love it. So what do you think your girlfriend would think? Elise, can you come out? Oh, wow. 
my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you're Diana. I usually have so much to say, and I was just standing there in silence going, oh, my God. How do you think your family would feel about your new look? Um, I think... By the way, do you think they mind that you describe yourself as an expensive wog? No, they're over it. They're over, they're it. over it. Everybody in my family is a big wog. Mira, she just called you a wog. Can you come out, please? What? Emma! <laughs> I am not. <laughs> just to see my mum, I'd probably shave my head. And suck it! Oh, my God! I feel like if I can shave my hair and put pink dye in it and not cry about it, I can do anything. What are you going to tell your family? Oh, hey, I've got pink hair. Mum's not going to believe me. Should we ask your brother? Hey, Goy, do you want to come out and see oh what the pink hair's God. like? <laughs> oh wow. Whoa. Great. At the start of the day, I was wanting to wear trackies and just come on in, get a little bit of a clip or something like that. But now I'm in heels, in a dress. I saw my brother. I've got pink hair and it's shaved. And I just went in front of IMG and half as bizarre people. Like, what? There's nowhere to hide. Whoa, this is actually crazy. In this week's revealing photo shoots. I'm gonna be on top. The winner of Australia's Next Top Model will receive a modelling contract with world-renowned IMG Models and a trip to Paris for an international casting. They'll feature on the cover and in an eight-page editorial for leading fashion magazine, Harper's Bazaar. This year's winner will also drive away in Nissan's stylish new Duales TIL and take home $20,000 in cash with thanks to Tresemme. Gonna be on top. Going to a photo shoot with so much excitement, you know, I have to prove myself that week. And I am nervous, of course, you know, we all are. It's cutthroat these days. Morning, ladies. Morning. How was your makeover yesterday? Good. The theme of today's shoot is that you've got nowhere to hide because we're literally in the middle of Hyde Park. It's kind of like a vintage lingerie look that we're doing today. The photo shoot smack bang in the middle of Hyde Park. People all around us, and I'm like, whoa, this is actually crazy. So think, you know, 90s Calvin Klein type of, of clothes. Today you'll be working with the incredibly talented Harold David. He's photographed some of the most beautiful women in the world, and his work has appeared in magazines like Harper's Bazaar, Marie Claire, and InStyle magazine. So please make him feel very welcome. Woo! Morning, Harold. Good morning, Alex. Today, because we're out in the open, the public is going to be watching, They're actually going to be stopping, looking. I need you to concentrate, I need you to focus, and I need you to be yourselves and to listen. Ready? Yes! Let's do it. Woo! So, being in front of the public doesn't really bother me. I'm, I'm pumped. I love my wife's hair. Um, we're sort of like twins. Love you, hubby. I think I definitely did well for myself picking a good husband. Right now, I'm just really excited to get out there and like rock my new hairstyle. Hi, Jay. Hi. That hair's great. Thank you. You loving it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It was like a beautiful silk nighty. It was really elegant and feminine. It wasn't too revealing, so I was kind of ready to take on the world. 
Jade was gorgeous today. I find her underwhelming in real life, and then she takes these beautiful pictures. So my aim was just, I don't know, not really think about the people around me, and it didn't really faze me that we were in Hyde Park. I kind of forgot about it for a little bit. You offered up a lot, thanks. That was good. Done? Yeah. <laughs> You're a good mover. So I was like 30 seconds, oh my god. Well, I don't know if I went well, it was so quick. I feel bad. Taylor was great. She's moved well, took direction really well. I don't think she's an incredibly photogenic girl. If you're not photogenic, you're not photogenic. You're up here. I Get am. on the stage first. Okay. That's good. When Maddie came on set, I don't think she had that frame of mind. This is what a Calvin Klein kind of shoot means, which is simplicity is really key. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's have a look at these. Uh huh. I don't think there's anything. I really want to get... Do I have time to get her? Yeah, get her again. Okay. That's beautiful. That simplicity is really nice. It's like a light bulb went off in her head. Second time around, it was effortless. I feel like I just keep getting second chances and I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I shouldn't be. Okay, Brooke, show us what that killer body can do. Nice. That's really nice. My tactic for today was to go in and I just really wanted to fit the brief. That's something that I didn't do so well last week. Hair is totally paying off a brook, but I'm just not seeing any versatility from her. Shannon only works from one angle, so that was a little bit limiting on how I could shoot her. I definitely do feel a bit of pressure to kind of uphold what I've been doing so far. And I'll let you guide me. Melissa's the only girl that I would shoot for editorial. She's got an editorial look. I'm only nervous about being in public um, because it's lingerie themed. And now work from there and shift your weight from side to side. That's April, it was painful for me to watch didn't take direction very well, just looked like a startled rabbit. I, I don't think I got the shot. I, I'd love to call her back and... I thought I did really well and then I had to come back uh, because the dress or something wasn't right. Alex, he said it looked like a tent, which was a bit... Yeah. And because I had to come back, I was really nervous because I felt like I did something wrong. And I lost a bit of my confidence there for a while. So important for models not to take the feedback personally. It's important for them to remain professional and to have a thick skin. Yeah, that's good. Shanali is so lucky because her physicality, the length Lie. of her limbs, yeah. kind of make everything that she does hey. look really, really elegant. That's sexy. It's been a very full-on week. A lot of highs and lows, actually, but a good week. Um, and I, I think I'm feeling good at the moment. Really simple. Seeing how close I was to being eliminated last week, I was going to go in there and I was going to give her my all and feel confident in myself because I really think when, when you feel confident in what you're wearing, how you look, who you are, that really shows off in your movements and your photo. Right. Hey, Duck, just look at me over your brow. That's good. I was changing my positions a lot. I was, like, using my face, like, in different angles and stuff. Nice. Yeah, I think I got a good shot. Thank you. The last week, I was in the bottom two, and, you know, I knew I had to bring it. Beautiful, elegant fingers. With Abby, I mean, I see the whole package. I can see it totally happening for her. I can see a career and modelling. Ashley, hi. Ashley. Hello. You ready? Yes. OK, let's do it. OK. Just up here, Ashley. OK. Give me a robe. Got my new hair? Yeah, great. Didn't even compliment it. I don't do that. You're going to have to earn a compliment, <laughs> not the hairdresser. Just begging for something nice over here, Alex. When Ashley arrived on set, she was, like, really bubbly and, you know, trying to get really, like, buddy-buddy with me. It really annoyed me. Alex scares the crap out of me. So having him there kind of just caught me off guard. Too cozy. Sorry. 
be moving, shifting. I really have no idea how it went with the photographer because he didn't really say much to me. There's something there, though, but I don't see her as a model. I'm not that all that confident. I just like to tell myself I am. But deep down, I just, I feel like I'm not. And I've just kind of got a bad feeling. I could be going. I'm gonna be on top. I'm Jodie the most. I've always been really confident when it comes to my photo shoots and this week it's just a completely different story. It takes one bad photo and you're gone or it takes one bad week and you're gone. Hi girls. Hi. Well done on surviving such a roller coaster week of surprises and congratulations on making it to the all important top model milestone, makeover day. So tell me, be honest, how do you like your new looks? Love, Love it. Love it. Yeah, everybody? Yes. I think you look amazing. Joining me to see who's been happiest in their new skin is the fearless Charlotte Dawson. The finely tuned Didier Cohen. And of course, the formidable Alex Perry. It's time to review your photos. Taylor? Please step forward. Hi. Hi. How was your week? Really good, yeah. You got to see loved ones? Yeah. That must have been amazing. Yeah, it was. Let's have a look at your photo. You know it's coming, right? It's the same shot again. I know. I thought I did better than... Did you mix it up on the day? Or I thought I you... did. Your head moved, but nothing changed in your expression. I overall like this shot. It just feels soft and feminine, which is completely different to what you are right now and completely different to last week's shot. You know, there's difference of opinion, but um, thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Ducky, please step forward. Wow, your hair looks incredible. Do you love it? Yeah, it's not that bad. I like it now. You look like a totally different person. In a good way. Like, you look <laughs> edgy. Let's have a look at your photo. <gasps> wow. Wow. You never let me down. That is one of the best. Thank you so much for delivering Thank that you. picture. Melissa, please step forward. All right, let's have a look at your photo. Whoa, I mean, you look insane. Maybe this girl has been sent here as an imposter. Like, she's already a model, knows exactly what she's doing, and she stands here like the sweet little innocent 16 year old. Okay, whatever you say. And then she produces these pictures without having to do that much. You're the only short model that I've ever liked. Ever. Look at that. Ashley. Okay, let's have a look at your shot. Do you know what they look like? Calvin Klein ads? Not really. You need to be educated on what brands are about. You need to promise me something. If you stay in this competition today, you're going to study fashion. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can. You will. You'll learn as you go. I mean, I didn't know those types of things when I was younger as well, but you learn and you educate yourself and, and you'll get there. Oh, yeah. When I see my photo, I just wanted them to take the photo off the screen. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in myself. Abby? This is what to me what Calvin Klein's about. It's really simple, beautiful, the way you've just, like, folded your hands. And everything that you did was quite effortless, I thought. I fought really hard for you last week, and this is why, because I, I reckon that you've got a lot in you. April, please step forward. Wow, you've had such a transformation. Let's have a look at your photo. How do you feel that you went with the shoot? I heard there was some little bit you were upset. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of trouble with the dress. But you're not putting blame on the dress, though, right? No. All right, good. So because... I couldn't work it as good as I could have. I just don't like anything about this picture. I just don't like anything about it. What about her face? Like, no, the icky I don't like in. it. You don't like it? No, at all. I don't. I just don't like this picture. I got. I'm disagreeing with Charlotte because I love your face in it. Mm. The overall vibe of the shot, I'm just, it's not punchy enough. Yeah. I'm so not you need to keep trying. Yeah. Thanks, April. Thank you. Brooke, please step forward. Whoa! Wow. Chocolate brown. Bit of a change. You love? I love it. Let's have a look at your shot. It's just okay. I mean, do you love this photo? I was expecting a lot better. You overwhelm me with your makeover. You look so beautiful. The picture for me, no. Sorry. Jade. 
What happened to your beautiful bouncy fringe? It's still there. Yeah, but you've tucked it away. I wanted you to show you everybody how gorgeous it looks. Yeah, I have a front fringe. I have plenty of time to show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's fighting uh, words. See that. Let's have a look. This is actually my favourite shot of the shoot. That picture as well. You need to wear your hair like that because you look gorgeous. What are you doing? Keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shanali, please step forward. So what did you get done? I got a bit of a waxing and threading done, but it was very painful. Shanali had what we might call a freshen up. <laughs> That's all yeah. you needed. <laughs> Let's have a look at your shot. Okay. Wow. I love this shot. You keep producing beautiful photos. And I love you because you keep trying stuff different. You're doing great. Thank you. It's going to be hard, I think, because there's a lot of girls there that shone, but a lot that didn't. So I think it'll be very interesting to see who will go. So Brooke, massive transformation. Mm. I just don't think it's, it's great. I don't think it's fashion. I just think there's weaker girls. Like who? a bunch. Yeah, who? They're just w weaker girls that haven't brought versatility. I don't think Shannon has brought as much versatility as Brooke has. She's, you, like you said, she has the same strong. But we're talking about the photo, just the photo. Time. Yeah, well, if you want to talk about underwhelming photos, then Ashley has an underwhelming photo. But I don't want to see her go. I think Taylor has had a downswing this week. She's just giving us that same look. All the girls stepped it up this week, and she's just she's at the bottom for me. Madeline? We needed to get to this point with her. Like the first time when she was just left on her own devices, I'm telling you, it was pretty much a train wreck. The second time round, she did, but are we going to have that double start every single time? Well, we gave every girl That's two true. shoots. That is very two true. Tries. April. I love April's makeover. I think she's a really beautiful girl, but I think we've hit a brick wall. She takes a great beauty photo. She's beautiful. Her face is beautiful. Yeah, look, they're all beautiful. Yeah. So we can't have a she's beautiful butt moment here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diana? If I have to judge this just on pictures, forget that we know her, they're not good enough. We now have 12 girls doing battle to become Australia's next top model. But unfortunately, not all of you can be the winner. When I call your name, please step forward to collect your photograph. Melissa. Photo of the week, two weeks in a row. Well done. You're still in the running to be Australia's next top model. Jade. We adore your shot too. Well done. Thank you. Ducky. That's a rocking photo. Thank you. Shanali. A roller coaster week for you, but well done. You're still in the running. Abby. You're still in the running to be Australia's next top model. Congratulations. Thanks. Shannon. Congratulations, you're through. Thank you. Thank you. Madeline. You were given a second chance again, but we got there in the end. Congratulations. You're through. Thank you so much. The whole time I was standing there, I was shaking. I couldn't breathe properly, like my heart was just racing. The judges couldn't even see. Like it was written all over my face how scared I was. Diana. Congratulations. Ashley. You can do better, and you know it. You You're so through. Much. Thank you. Taylor. I would never want to be in that position ever again where they didn't really like my photo. 
Way below your usual high standard, but we know what you're capable of. We believe in you. You're through. Well done. April and Brooke, please step forward. April, we've had real faith in you since boot camp, but you've been up and down ever since. Brooke, you've impressed us with your attitude throughout. However, there's still question marks over your versatility, and at this stage, there should be no doubt. April and Brooke, we feel you both do have a career in modelling. However, this decision is ultimately to find Australia's next top model. After close deliberation with the judges, we've decided. Both of you will be leaving the competition. It's time for you to pack your bags and leave the house. She lives in a different world. Thank you. She oh, so much. In different circles. <laughs> she walks on a different road. I just thought that, you know, me and Brooke would be in the top ten together. She was just always there. I know she was another girl to compete with, but she was honestly, like, my best friend. My time here has been amazing. It's been the best experience ever for me as a person and a model. Diana, she's been my best friend since day one. We just click straight away. And she's like been there and always gonna make you a cup of tea to put a smile on your face. I'm definitely gonna miss Diana. I feel so much more confident from the day that I walked in. I've learned so much from being here, so I'm just yeah, really gonna take it home with me and stay positive and just still try and pursue my career as a model. Things and animals in the outback. We're going to photograph you in pairs. Wow. But one of these desert angels wants to play dirty. They were just mucking around at first, next thing you know. That behavior just can't happen. The most controversial moment ever. You intentionally chose to intimidate and harm one of your fellow competitors. We feel that you've left us with no other alternative. Whoa. On Australia's Next Top Model, next Tuesday, 7.30, Fox 8. Head to fox8.tv to chat live with April and Brooke and get the complete top model experience with comps, prizes and exclusive content. Fox 8.